Miss Alenio Tillio, a youth volunteer and a proud member of this wonderful organization, and I am honored to be your host for this special evening. Today marks a significant milestone in the history of FBEI India. For 75 years, we have been dedicated to promoting reproductive health and family planning, empowering individuals and communities to make informed choices about their health and well-being. This celebration is not only a testament to our enduring commitment, but also a tribute to all those who have contributed to our journey over the years. We are gathered here at the Muskan Youth Center, a place that symbolizes the vibrancy and dynamism of our youth, who are the future leaders and torch bearers of our mission. The theme of tonight's celebration is to reflect on our achievements, recognize our present efforts, and envision a future where every individual has access to comprehensive sexual and reproductive health services. A very good evening to one and all. Uh, respected special guests, our doc Dr. Lim Mai Kinyang, CMO Bohima, esteemed guests and dear friends. It is my immense pleasure to welcome you all to the 75th anniversary celebration of Family Planning Association of India. For three quarters of a century, our organization has been at the forefront of championing sexual and reproductive health, health family planning and youth empowerment, including humanitarian response and climate change. The milestone is not just a testament to our enduring commitment, but also to the collective efforts of our dedicated team, supportive partners, and the communities we serve, and most of all, the volunteerism. Today, we come together to reflect on our journey, celebrate our achievements, and renew our commitment to build to building a healthier, more equitable role for future generations. As we commemorate these significant occasions, we are reminded the countless lives transformed through our initiatives, from providing essential SRA services and promoting informed family planning to empowering young people, and advocating for sustainable practices, our work has made profound impact in humanitarian response in crisis in, into our health programs, has further strengthened our mission, ensuring that we address the present challenges of our time. Today we celebrate not just our past, but also our promising future that lies ahead, driven by innovation, collaboration, and unwavering dedication to our cause. Thank you for being part of the incredible journey, and let us continue to strive for a world where health, equality, and sustainability are within everyone's reach. Welcome to the 75th anniversary of Family Planning Association of India. My name is Ati Bursu, Youth Volunteer Branch Steering Committee, FP India, Nagaland in Branch, Koyama. Thank you so much. I, on behalf of the FDA and Nagaland branch, and on my own behalf, would like to extend and express my gratitude to each and every one of you for your presence and your commitment to our collective goals. Today, as we celebrate this 75 years of dedication, hard work, and unpacking service, the deal of SRH, sexual reproductive health, family planning, adolescence, SRH, climate change, and humanitarian response. Before we go any further, let me take this opportunity to speak a few lines on the FBA history. In 1947, when India became independent, fertility was high, with couples averaging six children, public health facilities were minimal, and life expectancy was 40 years. With a growing 344 million population, with too soon and too many children, detrimental to women's health, a group of concerned women decided to address this issue. This evolved into the establishment of Family Planning Association of India in 1949. Recognizing the need for public education and community engagement, FA India emerged as a key partner of the government of India, instrumental in successful advocating for including family planning in the countries first ever, first five-year plan, 1952. Under the leadership and vision of Lady Dhammadi Rama Rao and Ms. Ababai Wadia, FPA India adopted a decentralized, <coughs> community-based approach. Working with the urban poor and villagers from some of the most impoverished regions of India, through grassroots outreach advocacy efforts and close 
cooperation with the Government of India and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, it be India effectively promote the benefits of smaller families for women's health and overall development. FPA India's contribution in advocating for family planning ensure its introduction in the country's five-year plan, 1952. It is through these efforts that India became the first country in the world to introduce policies around family planning. FPA India's dedication was acknowledged by the government of India with a commemorative postal stamp issued on the 50th anniversary. FPA India legacy extend beyond national borders. FPA India was one of the founding members of the Internal, International Parent, Planned Parenthood Federation, IPTF, established during the third International Planned Parenthood Conference held in Mumbai. Now, it's Mumbai, uh, in May, in 1952. Today, the India continues to be a prominent member of the IPTF, 149 member countries, representing India's final efforts in the global SRH landscape. <clears throat> the unique selling point of Nagel Branch is confidentiality. Being friendly, I hope I'm friendly, I'm looking friendly, I guess. Being friendly and very easy access in a homely environment. That is our selling point. So uh, we may not have the best, I mean the flashiest of uh, uh, infrastructure, but that is what we strive to. Uh, we there are very important eight services that we look into and we call these eight services as integrated package of essential services and these services are gender-based violence, counseling, contraception, safe abortion, STI, HIV, gynecology, obstetrics. We often, <coughs> in front of the doctors to say this is a little funny, but <coughs> we the common public often confuse obstetrics and gynecology. But obstetrics has its own place, gynecology also has its own place. I won't dare to you know, go further than that. So these are the important services that we provide here. Now, when we talk of comprehensive SRH services, the pictures are not very clear, it's okay but it gives you the idea of what we do. So, <clears throat> services uh, package are like counseling, consultation, management, diagnostic invest, uh, investigation, and preventive care. This photograph is being taken in one of those health camps we conducted in, in during the Manipur crisis. I mean, in what? During, Manipur crisis continues. But uh, in one of the health camps, we put up our cars there, put up the banners and then all these green, green uh, sheets and we conducted the health camp in the open local uh, ground. Yes. So, uh, while advocating humanitarian response settings need sexual reproductive health services for adolescents, young people, and also for the common people. We would like to, you know, draw the attention of all of us here and look at what is disaster. We always hear the siren of, you know, um, state disaster management, the mock drills and all those things. Why are they doing all those things, even if there is no disaster? But preparation is very important. That's why these things are there. But let's look at this uh, disaster as per <coughs> UNDRR. Disaster is a serious disruption of the functioning of a society involving widespread human, material, economic, or environmental loss, losses and impacts which exceeds the ability of the affected society to cope using its own resources. That's what disaster is. We need help and that's why we need to be prepared. And to be prepared, we have to also look into the 
hoy emergency health care kan bi lage but sexual reproductive health to be she important as a whole it will emphasize guru guru monase aro disaster ki ki hoy e tu mohan ek bar percentage se sabte sara fak sai logo about 60% of our land mass is prone to earthquake <coughs> over 40 million hectares is prone to floods it a guwahati jale flood dikhi wa apni ka about 8% of the total area is prone to cyclone 68% of the area is susceptible to drought idu india laga hisab the hai koi aise poor and socially this is very important poor and socially weaker segments of population are worse hit by disaster and if i am given the liberty to add i would also add young girls and women are the worst hit Family Planning Association of India was formed by recognizing that having too many children and repeated pregnancies become detrimental to women's health. Therefore, a group of concerned intellectual women decided to address the issues which was resulted in the establishment of family planning association of india in 1949 and affiliated to the international planned parenthood federation family planning association of india is a voluntary non governmental organization which was established and pioneered the family planning movement in india the association work on a wide range of sexual and reproductive health and rights issues in campaigning family planning maternal health child survival hiv aids safe abortion re reproductive tract cancer screening and prevention gender empowerment and young people and mitigation of gender based violence the key strategy of family planning association of india includes ensuring access to high quality sexual reproductive health services and strengthening access to the information and service to young people comprehensive sexuality 
education and capacity building of health care providers and community volunteers on sexual and reproductive health issues engaging with communities and individuals to change gender disparity and promote sexual and reproductive health and rights providing livelihood opportunities for economic empowerment of the poor and vulnerable and advocacy for policy change at the national and state level some of the most important benefit of the family planning if implemented effectively are now visible in preventing pregnancies related health risks in women reduction or reducing infant mortality reducing maternal mortality helping to prevent hiv and aids empowering people and enhancing education reducing adolescents pregnancies improve quality of life slowing population growth these are the these are some of the most important uh, positive impact that if we can continue this family planning service effectively